This is a good 20 meters, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. We can't come in. You got Aussie beef? What's that? 790 kilo. Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're checking out Annie's Bangkok University condo. It's going to be the first time for all of us. We've had a nightmare. We've had boyfriend breakups. We've had condos falling through. Uh, so we're actually viewing this uh, for the first time, uh, all of us together. So hopefully it's not too bad. We've already put down a, a three month deposit on the year contract. Anyway, yes, uh, we're going to be also checking out the campus, hopefully, at Bangkok University. So yeah, I'm going to pick up Annie from Pisnello and I'll see you in a bit. I think we're there. Are you excited? Yeah. I don't know, I nearly went on the tollway. It's very easy to get lost here. So, uh, yeah, now we've got to find it. Where is it? We do, we've got his motorbikes coming the wrong way. Yeah, be careful. Oh, dude, which one? This one? Here we are, Plum Condo. Card. Oh, it's a bit posh, isn't it? Through here, is it? So you've got. Do you get one of these letter boxes? Yeah. yeah, you must do. Which number? No, we're not going to tell you a number, are we? That's silly. We're going through here. No, no, no. This is the swimming pool. Well, where's it? Is this the swimming pool? Let's have a quick look at this. This is a swimming pool or is it a pond? It's a swimming pool, isn't it? I think I'm spoiling you, sweetheart. Look at this. I'll bring my bikini next time. Wow. Yeah, you can do some lengths here as well. Yeah. That's a, this is the chill out pool. But you can still do, this is a good 20 meters, isn't it? And they've got a gym as well. Oh, I might move in with you. <laughs> there's another pool, so there's two pools. Yes. All right, okay. All right, let's check out. 7-Eleven box. 7-Eleven box as well. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go and check out the room. Ta-da! Right, so we have a sofa as we come in. It's like a, a tour of the uh, little apartment. So you've got a little TV. All right. Little sitting area as you come in. It's certainly cozy. It's bigger than the condo we saw in Maysot. <laughs> got a little kitchen area and table. What do you got out here? You've got a washing machine. Washing machine and a beautiful view of the building site. Fantastic. Look at that. <laughs> oh dear. What are they doing down there? Looks like an electric works. Oh well, I've seen better views. No mountains either. But anyway, there you go. We've got a fridge. Let's take a look at you. Yeah, it's pretty good, it's alright, isn't it? And uh, you got your, got your double bed. Oh, that's cosy, isn't it? I think the one in May Sot was like 10,000 a month or something. You've got a, an aircon unit there. <laughs> and you can close it off. Is this a wardrobe? Mm, All right. Well, university's just down there, so you're within touching distance. It's all right, isn't it? You can sit down here, watch telly. And Mummy's coming tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, you have uh, to, you can explore the area together. Yes, uh, What's this? That's a contract, is mm -hmm. it? Uh, right. So we've got to get the water turned on. We've got to go well, down to the office. Mm -hmm. What TV you got? You got an LG? Mm -hmm. Okay. And there must be a little tap here or something, is there? Like a oh, there's a water. Then we need to get the the guy to come up. All right. But that'll do for now. Anyway. 
Yeah, no bringing home any stray cats. I know what you girls are like. You see a kitten in the street and you bring it back. You can't have any pets here, all right? As we won't get the deposit back. All right. So you get uh, all your post is delivered here, is it? All right. I suppose I'll be sending you packages from DAC. It's like a like a postal service here. Hmm. Right, they're going to send up a the guy, the worker to uh, turn on the water for us. Must be a mature student, that one there. Goodness me. Wow. Yeah, it's quite a complex. Yeah, I think you've got a mixture of students and regular Joes here. That, that's the other pool over there. That's the Fit Park. Just take a look at this. Why isn't anyone using it? We've got, we got Jim here. Let me just take a quick look at the... Oh, it's behind us. That looks good. And that comes included. Wow. And this is a lap pool. I'm definitely bringing my trunks. Look at that shower head. I like that. Oh, yes. How cool is this? Wow. It's massive, isn't it? What are they all doing up in there? It's, it's a lovely afternoon. I'd be in here. Let's check out the gym. Well, I'm not sure we can go. We haven't registered yet. And you kind of got a 7-Eleven, you've got the, the machine. They don't do beers though, do they? Which is a good thing because you're not allowed. What's the age in Thailand? 20. 20. Well, you got your elliptical machine. Yeah, that's what you want, the bicycle machine. So you do some, uh, do some, do some cardio in here, then go to the pool and do some laps. Oh, yeah, I forgot we got to bring all the stuff up. Anyway. Oh. Yeah, it is huge. Yeah. Alright, let's go and explore your university. Mm -hmm. And you've seen you've got a family mart up there, but I saw a tops sign, which means we might find yummy things like Branston pickle and uh, Fisto gravy, you never know. Yeah, lots of good security. This guy's friendly as well. So if we park on that side of the road, we get a 500 bar fine. Oh, that's a bit, a bit like London, isn't it? Goodness me, I better remember that. Hello, little friend. Oh dear, where's the, where's the Branston pickle then? Hey. Well, I thought we could get some Branston pickle, but uh, we've got a bottle of water anyway. So you get a little pink condo truck as well. So we're kind of on the outskirt, right on the borders of Patamtani and Bangkok. How do you pronounce Patamtani? Is that correct? Patamtani. Patamtani. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it does get uh, mispronounced, a bit like Patia. How do you pronounce Patia? But they are. All right. So we're going to get the song tail. There we go. Lovely looking song tail. So song tail means two benches. Two. Two benches in a truck, basically. And off we go. Oh, that smells bad. What is that smell? <laughs> it's where they kill the animals, isn't it? An abattoir. There's an abattoir. <laughs> you don't get this at Oxford University. Yeah. Hey, we've got to press the bell. I'll leave that to you, sweetie. I've got, I've got no idea where we are. Press it. Press it now. There we go. It's going to annoy everybody. 
Yeah, it's pretty busy coming out. That was an awful smell. But it's lucky you didn't get a condo next to that, isn't it? You know what I mean? That would have been terrible. Here we are. Bangkok University. That doesn't look very open. It opens when next month? Yeah, on the 13th. 13th of June. All right. All right, graduation was Yesterday it? Yesterday was the last day. It is an interesting design. Let's we'll take a little look inside. And you've got all your outfits, your black skirt and your white shirt and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember paying the bill. I haven't seen it there. Oh, we've got security. And there's a Starbucks in here as well. So it's quite a high so, high so place, I think. I don't know. Well, we don't have Starbucks in Dak anyway. Yeah, security's looking a little bit. What's he doing? What's he up to? Me, me, Leo, me, Leo. We just want to walk to the shop. We're only going to have a little walk to the shop. We can't come in. They want us to have a COVID test to come in. Sod that. I'm sorry, we're just going to go over the shop. It's only about how many cases now? 3,000 in the whole country? And you came in here last week and there was no issue. I think she's just been a bit of a job's worth. So we've got a, a Cafe Amazon up there. We've got a Watson's Pharmacy 7 Eleven. Is this all the university there behind the traditional house as well? It keeps going down. Yeah, they're massive complexes, aren't they? I have to admit, it's beautifully kept. I'm very, very impressed with the hedging. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could be in, well, it's better than, better than my university, actually, in London. <laughs> we didn't have a little lake like this. So they, they record soap operas in that traditional house, don't they, apparently, you were saying? Oh. Yeah? So you could do that as like a second income. <laughs> huh? Soap star. Look at this, you've got a little bridge. I think you're being spoilt with your, your own condo, swimming pool, gym, and uh, what a place to study. Doesn't look like we can go in there, the doors are, doors are locked up. Just need some pedalos. Yeah. There's a bloke playing the drums here. What's this, the music centre or something? Let's investigate. I think they're like study cubicles. Are they like study cubicles? I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, I think you can uh, get a group and book out a room. Yeah. Study group. Study group. Oh, I thought I was going to some sci-fi movie. All right, we better get out of here. We might get caught by security loitering around without a, a COVID test certificate. Very impressed. All right, I think you're going to be happy here, Sri. I think it's a really nice campus. Yeah. I'll be happy. I think I might stay at your condo, use the pool and the gym, and then come and chill out by the... Uh, mm -hmm. See if there's any soap operas being filmed, if they need a... A token for long. <laughs> huh? Wow. Well, as long as you get a bit of paper, I know, look, you know, getting a degree is not as important as it was, I think. Remember, what's his name? Steve Jobs, mm. the Twitter guy. If you can keep on with your hustling, you've got your businesses going, even you online. Mm -hmm. If you're making loads of money, then, yeah, I don't know. You should always get the bit of paper, in my opinion. Yes, you could be in. A European city. You don't get this on the streets of Bangkok, do you? All right, let's bring a picnic next time. So we're back to the main building. Yeah, this is an odd, odd building, isn't it? Very modern architecture from the front. It's called a diamond building. It's called the diamond building. All right. There's a logo of this 
All right, should we go come out the other way in case the, the, the security guard throws a wobbly? Yeah, you'll be banned from the university and you haven't even started yet. Oh, still, still nutty motorbikes even here. They still not. Right, we're going to go to uh, Future Park. And this is the big uh, shopping mall that's just down from the condo. It's like walking in a park. <laughs> so there are condos right opposite the uni. I can see one over there with the orange sign. And what okay. cave condo? I think I saw one of these. They're going for about twelve thousand a month, though. Yeah. So it's like twice the price, but you're just across the street. Well, we'll see what happens. If you meet up with some mates, you can maybe, you know, share. But that'll do, the one we're in will do for now, one you're in. But that side is quite dodgy. Really? Well, the streets are quite dodgy. Should we have a look? <laughs> you're saying there's a lot of uh, like Burmese workers living there or something? You saw a goat? Yeah. Really? Okay, yeah, you don't get that at Cambridge, do you? Huh? Well, we'll have a look, and there's no... It's like little India. Oh, I love India. There we go, there's the main highway out of Bangkok. Going north. You've got your motor motorbike taxi guys. And this is the posh condo. Well, I might have to have a look in there one day. Do a little condo tour. You're holding on tight. It's a full, uh, full song towel, so we're hanging on the back. All right. Yeah, nice university. That was nine baht as well. That was a longer trip though. So how far can you go for nine baht? To Langsit, the station. To Langsit, all right. Here we go, Future Park. Well, I think you've got a nice set up there. You've got a nice little apartment, swimming pool. University looks great. And uh, yeah, I suppose you do some study a little bit. Shame about the, uh, you don't have a student union. Like we have in the UK. I can't believe they used to have that in the university. Well, I think they still do in the universities. You have like, you can go and sit in like a pub in the university. Very dangerous for 18 year olds, especially ones like me. Anyway, here we go, Future Park. Look at this, rows of it. You found something already? Normally you take about half an hour. That was pretty quick. Hey, your neck. Oh, I'm starting to feel faint. I've got a 15 minute threshold in these places. Wait a minute, there's more of it. Oh, anyway, where's the food? All right, there she goes. Oh, could be in here for quite a while. Oh, there you are. You get in imported stuff, quinoa. Is it called quinoa? I don't know, Waitrose. Yeah. We have that in Somerset, don't we? Mm. Bit of a posh supermarket in the UK. Waitrose organic lentils. Look at that. Waitrose. You can make like a lintel rissoles and stuff. <laughs> huh? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> what else have we got? Have they got any, have they got any Bisto? Have they got Bisto? Look at that. Oh. Oh, that's a tikka masala. That is actually, you don't find that in India. It's kind of a, an English national dish, but Indian. It was like, uh, it's really nice. There's Jeff Frazy there as well. Man, we need this in back. Yeah, guys, if you're thinking of coming out here, you need to come to Tops if you want your home comforts. We've got the Hellman's. Hellman's Light. 89. 89? And the one I have, the Craft, yeah, it's gone up in price a lot, 115 baht. So the Hellman's is actually cheaper. Really? Well, I'm getting some of that. Right, you have the ingredients for the student meal I used to have. You got tuna, you got pasta in your, at your condo, yeah? Mm -hmm. You got your sweet corn and you got mayonnaise. Tuna, pasta, sweet corn. 
last year a few days as well. Fantastic. They got Heinz beans in it. I don't think they got Heinz, have they? No. Oh well, can't have anything. There she is. Branston pickle, Branston original. But that, 135. Have some of that. This is crazy good. Almost makes me want to move to Bangkok, but not quite. What we got here? All this. There we go. They got all these. Uh, what they got here? Local beef rib. They got Australian. You got Aussie beef. What's that? 790 a kilo. Mm. Grain-fed Angus. There you go. Your Aussies. You got your beef here if you want it. How much? 70 bar. Really? Yeah, pretty, pretty pricey. Yeah, it's more expensive than a big C, but you're worth it, sweetheart. Even bought you, look, a little shopping bag. How much? 29. You can't get a plastic bag anymore. Which is, which is good, but it's kind of a pain in the ass at the same time. Yeah. There we go. So you're sorted for the student life. Just need some beans, beans on toast. Shabu Indi, what is that? Buffet. Buffet thing. Oh. <sighs> Beans on toast better than that, darling. <laughs> so you got everything here. You got Big C, you got the uh, Robinson. You got cinemas. Central. Central as well. Robinson. You all set up, you Bangkok girl. Huh? <laughs> So it's kind of weird, there's just a whole load of uh, beggars on this waterway. You don't often see it actually in Bangkok. Or maybe you do, I don't live here that much. Certainly not in Dak anyway. The times have been hard. Yeah, you can easily get lost here, it's like Spaghetti Junction. Where are we getting a song tower down there? Yeah, we better get back. It's two hours, you say, the parking, and they lock your car. They put a clamp on it. I hope not. Anyway, we're back on the the rear end of the song tail. Go on then. I'll have a cappuccino, please. But may wan. <laughs> Ten bar. Look at that. I'm, uh, I'm giving you too much allowance. <laughs> so you got the uh, one pool there. You got another pool on the other side with the. Uh... Yeah, you need to register. You got a fully equipped gym here. Oh, that aircon is so nice. It's really hot out there. So we were at, you can see the building there, the, the tall building, I don't know where am I pointing, there. So you're really not that far. And that stinky abattoir is like, imagine the people living next to that though, with the aircon on. Luckily you're, you're far enough away. <laughs> anyway darling, let me see you. I'll be back up soon and uh, be good. And yeah, have fun. That's what it's all about. All right. There you go, overall, I'm pretty happy. It could have been a lot worse. At least she wasn't next to the abattoir. So we will be doing some more videos in that area. Now Annie's kind of base there. So I'm gonna head back and uh, yeah, get my head down. It's been a pretty hectic day. So on that note, I'm gonna say stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.